What's up YouTube? It's Rules for Rebels and today we're going to be talking about Amazon Photos or photos that you need to put up on Amazon for your Amazon products. Now Amazon differs from eBay in that eBay is pretty much a free-for-all. Uh, your photo has to be a certain size but I mean aside from that you can have any background you like. Uh, they're not very strict about what types of photos they allow. Amazon on the other hand and I'll, I'll pull up a listing here Okay, so we're looking at a, uh, an Amazon photo, and this probably looks familiar to you, and you'll probably notice when, as soon as I point this out, that pretty much every Amazon product photo is a blank white background. So as you can see here, it's a bracelet with a blank white background. Let's, let's look up another product. Uh, let's see here, if we were to look up a uh, paracord bracelet, let's see what we find. Okay, again, as you see, all white background, all white background, all white background, all white background. Now, occasionally you'll see items that don't meet the Amazon, like this picture. This technically violates Amazon's photo policies. Um, it's supposed to be an all white background. It's not supposed to be a bracelet on somebody's wrist. Basically, what this is, this is somebody who ordered this bracelet off AliExpress and is basically using AliExpress photos instead of taking their own photos. What you need to do is take your own photo and then either yourself or hire a designer to turn it into, into an all-white background. It's part of Amazon's uh, photo policy. Um, there's also some other things the photo should take up. I forget, it's like 60% of the canvas space, etc. If we go over here and look at eBay, you know, eBay, you can have a background of whatever you want. You can have the, the item being held in your hand. This stuff is not allowed on Amazon, though. There are some listings on Amazon, like I pointed out here, where... Um, they're not following the photo policies and this listing probably isn't going to go anywhere the guy's got 62 reviews this listing's been up for a while but in the grand scheme of things this guy's probably getting dinged in search engine function by not following the photo po policies if he followed the photo policies i bet you he'd be showing up in one of the top results because he managed to get on first page despite not following the policies um but what i also wanted to touch on is a lot of people probably wonder well how do i get a photo with an all-white background you know i'm not I, I don't have Photoshop, I'm not a photo editor, I don't know how to use Photoshop, and I'll show you what I do. Like, you could use Paint, you could open up Microsoft Paint and get the eraser tool and erase everything around your your item, but it's not going to wind up looking that nice, so unless you're good with uh, photo editing and have Photoshop, I would recommend hiring somebody. Here's some examples of uh, Amazon product photos made by a guy on Fiverr, and, and this is actually who I use for my photos. Like, as you can see, you know, everything is uh, white background, white background, white background, white background. And this guy does a really good job. I feel like he touches up and kind of cleans up the photos as well. Uh, but if anyone's wondering, I've used this guy in the past, and I'll tell you why I like him. Most guys on Fiverr are going to charge you $5 to edit one picture. This guy will do five pictures. So as we all know, whether you're selling on eBay or, or Amazon, it's always good to maximize the amount of photos that you... Uh, you have, you know, if they give you 12 available photos, use 12 photos. If they give you six photos, use six photos. I forget exactly how many photos Amazon gives you, but so many people only throw up one photo. And even if your product doesn't need more than one photo, throw up five photos from different angles. It's going to help you in Amazon search, and buyers do like to see different photos. So this is a guy I use for touching up my photos for Amazon. It cost me $5. I get five pictures. I'm essentially paying a dollar per picture. And all I do is take a regular picture of my product like I would for eBay or anything else. Um, I guess in this case I take five photos. I buy this guy's Fiverr gig. I send over my photos. And he turns my photos, which have a background, into something without a background, with a white background. So uh, let's see what this guy has to say. I'll optimize your product images for e-commerce. You'll save time, spend less, and sell more. Uh, for the basic, he does a background removal background replacement, color balance, adjust brightness, so that's where he kind of cleans up the photo and makes it look cleaner, uh, cropping, resize, marginal line, and then uh, with gig extras, you can do retouching a model skin. You know, there's all types of extra stuff you can do as well. Uh, but I just buy the regular basic gig, and, uh, you know, he, he, he does a great job. Here's an example, like a before and an after picture. Um, but let's see, what's this guy's name? This guy's name is Clipping uh, Clipping. Pathave or something like that. He's from Bangladesh, but he, he does a wonderful job. Uh, I think I've used him on four or five jobs so far. Uh, very happy with his work. And like I said, what I like most with most other sellers for five pictures, would, excuse me, five pictures, it would cost me five, ten, fifteen, twenty. It would cost me twenty-five dollars to get what this guy will do for five dollars. 
Uh, so this guy does a great job. I, I use him for my Amazon pictures. And also, I'm actually in the process of, on my e-commerce website, websites, using him for pictures. You know, I, I really like the clean look of a white background on a photo. It really puts all the attention on the photo and not, you know, the carpet or the table in the background. So I'm actually in the process of having him make uh, white background photos of all my products for my website. Um, and I'm probably going to do that this week. But yeah, for those of you guys who are wondering, you know, how do people get the white background on their Amazon photos? This is how you do it. They either do it themselves or you can hire a guy like this guy on Fiverr. Uh, I'll link to his uh, Fiverr profile in the description box below my video. And I'll also include a link where you can get a free Fiverr gig uh, if you click my link and then go sign up for Fiverr if you're not a member already. And then lastly, I just wanted to take a quick look at the Amazon image requirements. So uh, product images to Amazon must meet the following specifications. So this refers to file type. Uh, this part's really not that important. Most designers on Fiverr or anywhere, or most files you make are going to be either J JPEGs or PNGs. Um, so, you know, just make sure you have one of those file types. Uh, the image pixel dimensions of at least a thousand or larger in either height or width. So either the height or width of your picture has to be a thousand. Uh, file names must consist of the product identifier, uh, which is the Amazon ASIN, uh, ISBN, EAN, JN, UPC. You know, that's actually something I didn't know. Uh, so shame on me for that. Um, I will actually have to go rename my, my files for that. Uh, not something I knew about. And I think a lot of people don't really read all these. Um, I knew about the white background, I knew about a thousand pixels and file types, but I never noticed that about uh, the file name. Um, for images by Predator is very silent. Uh, image must be the cover art or professional photograph of the product being sold. You can't have drawings or illustrations. Um, the image cannot contain gratuitous or confusing objects. So typically they don't really want to see a bracelet on your wrist, they just want to see the bracelet. Uh, the image must be in focus, professionally lit, photograph, or scanned with realistic color and smooth edges. You know, just have, don't have a picture that looks like crap. Don't take pictures with your webcam. Uh, books, music, and DVDs should be in the front cover. Okay. Um, all products should, this is an important one, all products should fill 85% or more of the image frame. So you don't want this giant canvas with a teeny little bracelet in the middle. That, you know, whatever, whatever it is you're selling should take up 85% of the frame. Uh, full product must be in a frame. You can't have things hanging off. And the background must be pure white. That's one of the most important things. Uh, the image can't contain text or graphics. So I don't know if you guys noticed this, but um, this is against the Amazon photo policy. You're not allowed to have your graphics on there. Um, now, if you wanted to take a picture of your bracelet next to a box which had your logo on it, that would be another thing. But you're, you know, you can't have paracord planted on your pictures. This guy gets away with it. He's at 585. Uh, things but technically this violates Amazon photo policy um, I don't know that they would take it down but he could get penalized in search uh, let's see if there's anything else uh, no offensive material the image must pertain to the product being sold obviously must be in focus oh, we've already covered that uh, text and graphics are allowed oh, for additional oh for your additional images I guess you are allowed to put text and graphics on but for your main image they don't want that. So again, these guys do have a main image with uh, with their text and graphics on it. But uh, the the main thing here is, I just wanted to show you guys. You know, if you're thinking about selling on Amazon, it's a different ball game than eBay. You gotta you gotta carry yourself a bit more professionally. I know a lot of eBay sellers are like, oh, you know, I, I only go to the post office on Wednesdays, so I only ship item out, items out on Wednesdays. And I think eBay will even let you set your uh, shipping time up to like four or five days. So when somebody buys, they're not expecting that product to ship out for five days. To me personally. It's kind of unprofessional, and quite honestly, if, if I'm buying something that's time-sensitive, whether it's for a birthday present or a holiday, I would be confident ordering from Amazon, like within 48 hours of the event I needed something for. On eBay, if it's within a week of when I need my, like let's say, you know, today is uh, Thursday. Let's say next Friday I'm leaving for vacation, and I see, a, I don't know, a beach towel or something I want to bring with me. I would not feel confident ordering on an eBay a week in advance because, you know, eBay sellers don't seem to be as professional as Amazon sellers. And I may or may not get that item before I go on vacation. Whereas on the flip side, what I say, today's Thursday. If I were leaving for a vacation Saturday night, I would be confident ordering something from Amazon today and knowing it's going to be here on Saturday afternoon. Um, so Amazon's a bit more professional in that sense. And also in terms of your descriptions, um, how you list items, and as we touched on in this video, photos as well. So if you're going to sell on Amazon, 
uh, you need to meet their photo guidelines. Uh, if you don't, your product may be taken down, or at the very least, you're not going to show up high in search rankings. Um, but yeah, if you need an all-white background done, I would highly recommend checking out this guy. Like I said, his name is uh, Clipping Pathave or something like that. Clipping Path Have, whatever it is. Uh, but I've used this guy on a number of occasions and he does a great job. So uh, again, I'll link to this guy's page. Um, I'll link to the Amazon product image requirements. And then lastly, I'll include a link where you can get a free Fiverr gig if any of you guys want to try out this guy's services and get some of your pictures made with an all-white background. And even if you're uh, not selling on Amazon or even if you are selling on Amazon but are selling elsewhere, you know, I would consider using all-white background images for the rest of your stuff. And in my opinion, it just looks more professional. It looks cleaner and it puts the focus on your product as opposed to the focus being on, you know, the whatever stuff is on your floor. Like sometimes when I'm looking at a product on eBay, I'll be like, oh, that guy's got a really dirty carpet. And, you know, I'm paying attention to his dirty carpet instead of the product that I'm actually looking at. Uh, plus, add to that, do I really want to see the product that I'm going to buy sitting on this dirty carpet? But, uh, yes, yeah, so this video is about Amazon photo requirements and how to meet them and how to get these jobs done. So, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button at the bottom left. Uh, check back for more videos. i got a bunch of stuff coming out this week and next week, and we'll talk to you guys later.